Good evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio, and I will be your guide this evening as we once more journey into the Vortex, into the world, into the realm of 1980s Tokyo. Uh, well, technically Tokyo and Osaka. Japan, should have said Japan. Anyway, welcome. Hopefully you are all doing well, hopefully you've had a good day. I have had a good day this afternoon in the four hour stream, well, three and a half hours technically. We ventured into the end of chapter three, we ventured around Sotobore, we have done several side stories and we have explored many things and lost not as much money as I was hoping to to Mr. Shakedown, but we can change that. Oh, we also got some really annoying socks that make a jingling noise as we walk around. Enjoy that. Anyway, I think that's everything. No news to report, nothing great or grandier to add. So, let us begin, let us go, let us step forth into the vortex as we continue to journey, travel and traverse the world, the realm of Yakuza Zero. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set, and as always, the PlayStation still needs to be turned on. So let's go, shall we? We shall also continue to destroy my voice. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do this properly this time without me accidentally changing a monitor setting that I didn't want to change. That works awesome. Cool. That's fun. That's online. That is working. The bot is live. We are golden in the moment. I've also fixed my network settings, so there we go. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh. Oop. Doop. A deep. Dump. A damn. Okay, where were we up to then? We have a mission around the corner. Have annoying jingly socks. We've not unlocked Club Sunshine yet, unfortunately. Oh, I remember this guy. Um, how are we on? Hold on. Uh... Inventory. That's it. How are we on phone cards? We've got a lot of phone cards to collect. Oh, I'm not going to worry about collecting all of them. May the card be with you. But well, we've got the alert. We've got the thing on anyway, just in case. Ah, can't go that way. Um, yeah, okay, we can talk to this chap. Sure. Ooh. Hey, buddy, I'm a telephone card collector. Got any cards I could see? I just want to take a look, that's all. I might have some. You only want to look, though, right? Oh. I used to collect them myself, but after I see a card for, a, for the first time, I just kind of lose all interest in it. That's why I don't mind just admiring it in someone else's collection. That makes you a pretty odd collector, doesn't it? Why don't you just drop the hobby? No, I can't give it up. I can't go on living without revi reveling in the telephone card collections. I... I need them. Oh, buddy. The next ten years are going to be quite rough for you, aren't they? Well, to each his own. Fine, I don't mind showing you my cards. Don't bother with incomplete sets, though. Oh, yeah. Only a full free card set. Really do it for me. There's free card sets? You know how cards got A, B, or C on them? It's cause there's three different cards for each girl. When you complete a set, come and show me. You're a picky guy, aren't you? Well, fine. I'll swing by and show you if I end up with a set. Have I got a set? Hey there. Got any new telephone cards to show me? They gotta be a full. Three card sets, though. Oh, Sorry, mate. Right, okay, that's done. Oh, hello. What did I do? No, wait. Oh! Nice boat, and you got there. Huh? Ah. Be taking those boat, and. You talking. talking to me? Maybe you need glasses, because these pants ain't Botan. This here's what you call a tuxedo. Stop talking like that. 
just drop your pants. You're the boat and hunter I've heard about then. Got, <laughs> got the school backpack and everything. Want to tell me what your idea, what your deal is? Want to take him off? I'll help you do it. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Healing's better than stealing. Oh, well, you're creepy. <sighs> Not exactly the reasonable type, eh? You made your choice. I'm gonna have fun ripping those pants off you. Oh yes, you clearly seem like a sane and rational individual. You also look vaguely familiar. This dude's got a lot of health. Ah. Okay, I thought I could grab that motorcycle. I can't. Also, can we just know how awesome this music is? Come on, that's just rude, mate. Probably heal. Might be an idea. Might be a smart idea on that one. Alright. Okay, I can't use my fancy move on him. The neck break. We did get a CP though, so that's good. Interesting. Why didn't the bot block that, I wonder? Oh. What the hell? I lost to this one-eyed chump. Hand it to you. You ain't half bad. Well, what's up with this get-up, huh? Oh my gosh, it's Ryuji-kun. And he's down. Whoa. You're right! Huh. Oh, sorry. Please leave him alone. Please. Please let him go. Ryoji-kun didn't do this for... Was doing it for us. Oh, for crying out loud. What now? Oh, he's asleep. Marvels. <laughs> he's got some nerve falling asleep after that. But well, you're telling me this brute, the brute, a brute this size, is still in elementary school? Hi. Yep, 
Ryuji Kun is a classmate of ours. He, he's always been like this, right? Yeah. School backpack never. Oh. School backpack never ever looked right on him. So you've got a sixth grade Hulk ripping the botan off a high school jerks twice his age. These guys must be double sorry when they've got when they got to explain it. But well, you said he's hunting down botan for you guys. Okay, to explain what that's all about. Ryuji Kun's probably getting revenge on us. One of the delinquent kids in Soton North High. It's gummy. They beat up kids our age. Take our money and threaten us if we don't t threaten us to t not tell the grown-ups. We hate them. So you're saying Ryuji Kun there is has taken it upon himself to take your fight to them. Hi. Yeah. But we don't deserve what Ryuji Kun did for us. Why is that? Because we shunned Ryuji Kun for a long time. But even then, he went and did this for us. Okay, back it up. What made what made you guys shun him? I mean, the kid's downright intimidating. I'll give you that one. It's Ryuji Kun's dad. He's a Yakuza. Yakuza? Huh. Alright. When we were little, we all played together. But when our parents found out about Ryuji Kun's dad, they said we couldn't play with him anymore. Now Ryuji Kun's all by himself at school. Even the teachers are careful and polite around him. Like, they're scared. So he's the son of a Yakuza. Well, that's gotta be a. <laughs> There's gotta be plenty of those around. Why is it such a big deal? Because Ryuji Kun's dad isn't a regular Yakuza. He's like some big shot in the Omni Alliance. That's why everyone's scared of him. Ah, I'm starting to see the big picture now. After all we did to ignore Yuji Kun, he went out looking to have even the score for us. We don't deserve anything he's done for us. We suck. Hey, what are you blabbering about blubbering to this guy for? Oh, Yuji Kun! Yuji Kun, you're awake! He ain't doing nothing for you. Huh? Ah. I just can't stand those certain North punk asses walking around like they own the place. Nuh uh. You're lying, Yuji Khan. We saw you get all pissed off when you heard those jokes were picking on some of the girls in our class. Shut up! I said it ain't that way. Yuji Khan, I'm sorry. We're sorry. We won't ignore you anymore. Please, can you forgive us for the way we've treated you? I told you I ain't got anything to do with it. I seriously can't stand those Soto North Puzzles. Never mind. <clears throat> they made it to high school, and they're not. And there's not a one of them who can actually fight. Bunch of losers. Except you, one-eyed guy. You beat me like it. I'm just some punk kid. What? What do you mean? Other than. Being built like a bulldozer, you're just a punk kid, you know? Yeah, but dude! You're as tough as my old man. You sure... <laughs> you sure you're still in high school? <sighs> you're still going on about that. I told you, this is no Botan. I don't give two craps about it. I decided I'm gonna be a bigger man than my dad. Ain't no way I'm going to accept losing to some stranger off the street. Sounds like a personal problem. I ain't forgetting that face, bro. Next time I see you, I'm taking your botan. Screw your... screw any other botan. I won't rest until I rip those pants off your ass. Huh? Hey, don't shout some crazy nonsense. They'll turn... that'll turn heads. Oh, whatever. I'm going. I've ain't got time for kiddie games. I'm out. You kids go do. Uh, you kids got this. Hi. Yes. We'll make sure Yuji Kun will be okay. Oh, wait. This pair of Botan pants Yuji Kun had. What do we do with them? Who cares? Chuck them. The guy wearing them was an ass. Mister, can you return these pants to the guy who owned them? If we do it, we might beat us up. <sighs> oh. Fine, fine. I'll do that if I happen across him. <laughs> you will! Thank you! 
um kid this turned out to be. Oh, well, I gotta help out his buddies. I'll go give these pants back to the podcast kid. Oh, to the plant. <laughs> Sorry, to the pantsless kid. Oh, my poor Voro doing Ryuji's voice. Ah, right. Oh, well. I don't remember where this chap is now. Um, I think that's him. Hello. Okay, well, we'll fight these guys first, and then we'll look into the thing. Sound effect. There we go. Also, just out of sheer curiosity, of course, actually working. No, of course not. Right, hold on. Give me a minute. Um. Uh, bee -ba -doo -ba -doo. Right, why is it saying the bot's live then? Okay, then that did. Okay, sorry, give me a minute. I just need to fix something on the bot. And the beauty of the fact that I'm playing this on console is I can switch all my settings. I can quickly snap. Oh, hello. Oh. Come on. No, that's not why. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Right, let's fix that then. Okay, that's fixed. That's fixed now. That's, sorry, give me a minute. Password, that's it. Okay. Kill the session. Launch the session. I should have probably just rebooted it, but oh well. Big fix. I remember I'll reboot after the stream. Harry. loading in. Let's see how well I can play this via the Twitch preview pane, eh? go that's working again awesome so with that done enable following no enabling follow advice advancements blah, 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 blah. all right uh tell you what we'll kill that terminal session we'll close that for the time being that's working so let's snap back over onto 
I and we should be good to go. How's that? Sorry about that. Right, let's... Oh, back up to speed. Yin Yen vending machine. All oh, right, we need to go to um, Tiger Place. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> okay, so we've managed to get 27,000... We've got 27 million yen just by running around in these socks. Okay, I'm willing to put up with the sound... with the jingling sound for a bit longer. Not gonna lie. Oh, equipment search. Let's send an agent out. Neo Japan HQ? What? Hunter's Village. Ex-police officer. Yeah. Four million. Five million. Up that down to four million. That works. As soon as we've got the zap gun, then we can just... that That's basically our only weapon throughout the entire game after that point. There we go. Cool. Right, now we need to find Mr. Shakedown and get ourselves beaten up. Or we could actually start pumping things into our abilities. We might actually buy a couple of abilities. So, let's get that. And that's pretty much all we can get, actually. Two mil? Yeah, we can get this one. Essence of the Fog, Weapon Grab. Yeah, that works. Dagger. We've got enough for some of these then. Not that one. Yeah, that one though. Boost health large. Boost health extra large. Extra extra large. Well, we'll go with this one because it unlocks another master. Another master's path. Right there we go. Easy way to get rid of twenty-seven million. Probably safe, actually. Come to think of it. As soon as we fought these dudes. Okay, baseball time. We go. Oh yeah, I also got the thing to give me more money from enemies, didn't I? Oh, find that just quick. Sorry. Right, let's just clear that pager. Ah. Oh, hello. Eat some of your crews up. There we go. Beat 500 enemies on the street. Alright, I've already been there. Hello! You wish to find me? That works. Bonk. That also works. Go.
Venus. Oh yeah, there's the Soji to play as well. Hello. Don't. Okay, may be a bit of a waste of my heat gauge, but whatever. Just yet. Have I got enough? No, not really. No, not yet. Eventually, yes, but for the moment, no. I want to have at least nearly 20 million again if possible. at least if I've got 20 million to throw at them, then awesome, because it means I'm pretty much... Oh, look, if I have 20 million, then that's 20 million that goes into his pocket, which means later on I can get 20 million back with interest. So it just works in my favor, really. So I might as well continue hunting for cards. Which is here. Hello, is it there? Yeah, it's there. It's in that gutter. Come on. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, right. Dude's beating a person up. Intervene. Okay, so this. Actually, you know what? I've just realized. We have yet to use our frozen sardine. Oh, never mind. Oh, I got 20 million. Oh. Boy. I got 27 million because I ended... That was the end of chapter bonus, wasn't it? Oh, well, that was... Oh, whatever. We can get the zap gun just marvellous. Why are these people in white? Please let my daughter go. Oh, well, in that case... Hey, daughter, please let Blurry go. What's all this? Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Let her go. Let her go? Your daughter is with us of her own free will. Your accusations have no merit. You people dumped my daughter and duped my daughter into joining. You, you fanatics. <sighs> if you persist with your venomous blasphemy, I am afraid that Sister Laurie will have to serve atonement for the sins of the mother. Atonement? Our adherence to pacifism makes the use of physical atonement distasteful. But it is by times a necessary evil. Now would you please? Let us be. Oh, 
Sorry. What am I going to do? Sorry. What am I going to do? Oi. I couldn't help but overhearing you giving lip to those pajama clad screwballs. Something up. Pardon me? Oh, y you are. Nobody special. Like I said, it sounded like an argument, and I wanted to make sure you weren't in any danger. Oh, you're just passing by? You're not one of them? That cult? Oh. Cult? Uh. Yes, those people I was talking to. Those people took my daughter, Laurie. What do you mean, took? So you're saying your daughter got swept up in the pyjama party and hasn't come home since? Mm. Yes, I don't know who to turn to anymore. How's old... How old's Laurie Chan? She's 20. Just a college student. 20, eh? She's ripe for picking then. Girls her age are looking for freedom and that must have had it, uh, had it in the offer. Well, Laurie isn't like that. She's been duped by those people. By that cult. So you're... S are you sure they're a cult? Just a bunch of kooks in pyjamas? Not just a bunch of kooks in pyjamas, even. Yes. I don't know any... I didn't know any... I didn't know anything was wrong until I got a call from school saying Laurie was missing classes. But she left home every morning. So I followed her one day, and that's when I saw her going into that cult's building. When Laurie came home, I confronted her about it. Rather than getting upset over my following, she said, What perfect timing. You should join the order too. Hmm. I've never seen my daughter so vacant. She gets this faraway look in her eyes. She talks about this new obsession of hers. I'm sure they've done something to her. She's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. I told her she needed to get out of this cult. She didn't... But she ain't exactly listening to reason, is she? Right. The next day, the cultists just showed up and took my daughter away. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her either. I gotcha. I've gone to see them so many times, pleading to see my lorry, but they always turn me away at the door. I've just recently lost my husband. If I were to lose my poor daughter now... Daughter's caught up in some weird cult, and she she can't even see her. That ain't right. <laughs> Mashima-san, was it? May I please make a request? Hi, yeah, go for it. I guess I kind of stepped into this one. Anyway, if it's something reasonable, maybe I can help. <laughs> Would you mind joining that cult for me? You want me to join them? What part of that is reasonable? Mm. Well, only disciples are allowed inside. Joining them is the only way to get in. I could sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They would never let me pass the doors. I get it. Since they don't know me, I can just join them and gain entry with no fuss. That does sound logic, but... You think I'm insane for asking you to do this? We only just met, but I want my daughter back. Hmm. Majima-san, please. Please help me. I will, of course, provide a reward of some kind. If you could please just tell Laurie that I want her to come home. Even that will do. Please? Can't say no now. <sighs> well, can't very well say no now, can I? But all I can promise is that I'll tell her to come home. Y you will? Oh, thank you. Hashima-san, please, be careful. There's no telling what the order of Mu- of Mu and Cho- Wait, what? Of Mu and Chopit Onust- Onanst is capable of. Mu and Chapa Chu Kawa Kua what now? The order of Mu and Chopa Onanst. You must learn their name if you ever get in the- 
you can't even get that much right. Those cultists will never trust you. Right. Odd name for a religion, though. <laughs> anyway, don't you worry. I've got this. I'll shake my, uh, sneak my way in, make contact with Lori Chan, and then sneak my way back out. Thank you. Please take this, Majima Sam. Received a handmade amulet. What's this? It's just a little charm I made to ward off evil. I think you may need it, Majima Sam. For protection. <laughs> Hope it really works. Please, please find my daughter, Laurie. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will talk to him in a minute. But first, 